Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to get some really good looking solder joints um, on our motor wires, on battery leads, and we're going to look at a couple different techniques for soldering through holes as well as just a square pad. Alright, so the first thing we'll get started with is some 20 gauge motor wires onto these ESC pads here. We want to expose some wire, but we don't want to expose more than can fit on that pad. So you'll see I've exposed just enough to fit right on there. We don't want a bunch sticking off the end like that. After I've exposed the wire, I'll twist it. Set it up on some fun tack so that I can tin the tips. Get the other two done here. It's really important to not expose too much wire. It's a common mistake that beginners make and if there's too much exposed and it's sticking off the end of the pad, you're at high risk for shorting your components and causing damage to your components. So just only expose exactly what you need. We're going to be set at 425 degrees. We're going to be using the TSBC2 tip here. It's got a flat end on it. And the first thing we're going to do is clean the tip of our soldering iron. It's very important that you're always cleaning the tip of your soldering iron. And we're going to add some solder to the flat surface there. We're going to bring that up underneath and just sandwich the wire in between the flat spot on the soldering iron and the solder. You don't need huge globs of solder on the end of your wires. Just enough there, you can see, just enough to kind of hold all of the wires together. Then we're going to add some flux to the pads and we'll go ahead and tin the pads now and we're going to put some solder on the flat spot of our soldering iron again and we're going to touch that down to the pad then we're going to touch the solder to the pad and slide it into the soldering iron so you're touching the pad and sliding into the soldering iron Touch the pad with the soldering iron, touch the pad with the solder, and slide it into the soldering iron. And last time. some nice round beads there on our pads we're going to add some more flux always use flux it's super important to use flux in between tinning the pad and adding the wire it's what really helps make beautiful looking solder joints so we'll clean the tip we're going to add a little solder to the flat tip or the flat spot on the tip and then we're going to just set the wire on top of the pad and we're going to sandwich it down push it down and hold it in place with the tweezers I'm going to clean the tip of our soldering iron Add some solder to the tip, just right there on that flat spot. And then we're just going to sandwich it down, sandwich the wire between the pad and the soldering iron, and hold it to cool. Clean the 
tip. Gonna add some solder to the soldering iron. And we're just gonna sandwich it down in between the pad and the tip. And there you go. You can see we've got three really good looking solder joints there. Perfectly acceptable. Not gonna short. Looks great. Now let's look at putting some battery leads on these pads here on this Betaflight flight controller. These are pads that were made for battery leads. So again, we're just going to expose enough wire to fit on the pad. We're going to twist the ends of the wires. And you can see there, finger got in the way a little. Sorry about that. So for this, we're going to have our temperature at 450 degrees. We're going to be using the TSC4. You can see it's got more surface area on the flat portion. We're going to add some solder. We're going to just touch that to the end. And then we're going to feed in our solder over that wire there. And you can see we didn't add a, a whole lot. There's not a glob there, but you can see that the wire is nice and shiny. We're going to add some flux to our pad, clean our tip really well, and then we're going to add some solder to the tip of our soldering iron, and then we're going to feed in the solder to the pad there. And you want to do, you don't want a whole lot, but you don't want too little either. You want to have a nice, decent little ball of solder on that pad there. Then I'm going to clean the tip. I'm going to add a little bit more flux to the pad. Super important to add the flux guys. Super important. Don't forget to do that. Then I'm going to add some solder to the flat portion. And I'm going to sandwich that wire in between the pad and the soldering iron, just like that. You can see we've got a nice joint there, flows all the way to the corners. And now we can look at putting some thinner wire, 28 gauge I, I believe. We're going to put this on pad here. It's got a hole on it, but we're not going to use the through hole. We're just going to expose enough to fit on the pad. Set it up to tin the tip here. Same thing on the black one, just expose enough wire to fit on the pad. And we are going to prep these wires just like all the others. Add a little bit of solder to the tip and sandwich it in there. We're using the TSB2 tip for this, and we are at 385 degrees. Clean the tip, and I'm going to add some flux. I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom of the tip. And we're just going to touch that little bit to the pad and feed in the solder. Again, we'll add a little bit of solder after we clean our iron. And then we'll touch it and feed that in right into the corner there. You don't want to feed the wire onto the tip. You want to feed the wire into the pad. I'm going to kind of use an angle here so you can see, but what we're going to do is put a little more flux on here. 
and I'm going to add a little bit of solder to the tip, just a tiny bit, doesn't have to be a lot, and I'm just going to sandwich the wire in between the pad and the soldering iron, and release. Now for this method, for the next one, we're just going to position the exposed wire so it's sticking straight down. I'm going to clean my tip, but I am not going to add solder to it this time. I am simply going to touch the soldering iron to the pad that's already been tinned, and I'm going to just insert the exposed wire into the hole, just like that. I've got a nice clean joint right there, comes out the bottom a little like it should. got two really nice joints right there. We're going to look at another technique to solder a through hole. For this technique we're going to expose enough wire to stick through the hole and come out the other side. We'll just stick it through there. And then we need to secure it so we can set it down. using a little bit of flux here. Again, the temperature of the soldering iron is 385 degrees. And we'll add a little bit to the tip here. And then again, just try and touch the pad, the wire, and sandwich the wire in between the soldering iron and the solder. And then we can just take some snips, clip off what's exposed there. And you can see we've got another really clean joint there. So here we're going to go ahead and clean the board. We'll place it on a paper towel. Dip a toothbrush in some 99% alcohol. Just give it a little scrubbing. This will clean all of the flux that you used because I know you're going to be using a lot of flux after watching this video. And it'll make your board so it's not real sticky and keep your board from gunking up while you're out flying. You can see here it's a nice clean board. Alright everybody that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video or found it useful, please like and subscribe.